In this video, we'll be going over the preferred calibration method for the CWE Capstar 100. As we begin our calibration procedure, we want to ensure that the unit is in fast, percent, and that our sample flow is close to the sample flow we intend to use for our study. As the sensor warms up, this LED will change from orange to green. After the LED has changed, we want to allow the sensor to warm up for an additional 10 minutes. Now that the sensor is fully warmed up, we can complete the calibration routine. We start with the zero. While sampling either 100% nitrogen or room air, we'll press the zero and the adjust knob. The Capstar 100 will automatically go through a zeroing routine. That's it for zero. We'll move on to span next. For introducing the calibration gas, we prefer a syringe barrel connected to the tubing for our calibration gas. In this case, we're using a 20 milliliter syringe barrel you could use a 10 milliliter syringe barrel or any fitting that allows for a loose coupling between the calibration gas and the sample inlet tubing. We want to avoid pressurizing the sensor during calibration. I'll place the sample tubing into my syringe barrel, press the high calibration button, and turn on my cow gas. Our cow gas is 5%, and we can see that we went right to 5%. But if we were above or below that, we would simply turn the cow knob to adjust up or down. Once we've got our calibration set to the correct value for our gas, we press the adjust knob back in and turn off our calibration gas. That completes the calibration routine for the Capstar 100 by CWE Incorporated.